Hey guys, welcome back to another Thor time in quarantine. We're having a tremendous afternoon over here. Um, again, we have another setup to show you. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit differently. Uh, we're throwing it back to a unit that we've been selling for quite a long time. This is the uh, front of it. This is the back of it. This one's actually hooked up and plugged in. This one is just showing you. Uh, same unit, just the uh, front interface here. So what I want to show you guys is that this unit is the 480HD, which is the stands for four channel. Um, analog and digital high definition modulator. So what this unit does is you can see on the back here, it has sources for YPBPR, HDMI, uh, component composite, uh, it has RF in, RF out. There's also ASI in and out. Uh, and it also does IPTV stream. So again, our sources here today, Amazon, uh, Fire Stick, Roku, uh, Blu-ray player, and we also have an HD camera set up uh, that's currently pointing outside. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to run all these sources. Now over here on this TV, uh, we're showing you guys Chappelle's show from a while back running through the fire stick. But this TV is set up just on RF. That's all we got, it's just a simple RF cable. That's how the encoder modulator is set up. And I'm gonna show you guys what the GUI looks like in just a little while. Uh, I just wanna show you the full setup first though. So on the first channel or channel two, we have the Chappelle Show. Uh, the next channel up, uh, I believe, is the Roku, um, which is, I believe, streaming Dead to Me on Netflix. Then if you go up channel again, we have the Blu-ray player. And finally, the last channel on RF channel five is the video camera from outside. So, uh, as you can see, all you have to do is hit up or, or, up or down to select your channels from your four sources. Uh, and you can pretty much watch anything you want. On this TV, we have this setup to use the, on the front here, you can see that has two RJ45 ports. One port is for data, that is your IPTV output, and the other RJ45 port is for NMS, which is your network management system. Uh, that means that you can use a laptop, which we have set up here, connected to the GUI, which we can set up to show uh, all your streams. And I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step quick process to show you guys how to set up your streams uh, and how to get them playing on a TV like this. So uh, essentially what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna show you guys first the setup, then I'm gonna go to the laptop, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the GUI is set up. So as you can see, this unit is actually showing both the NMS and data ports. These are two RJ45 cables that are hooked up. They're going to a switch. Our switch is then going to a set-top box that we have uh, with our IPTV player, and we already have everything pre-configured and pre-set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and show you guys on this TV exactly how this is set up. So from this portion, we can see that the IPTV set-top box uh, is running HDMI to the back of the TV. And again, here we have all the same channel setups. Uh, if I switch back to the RF channel over here, we have the same exact show playing. Uh, and again, you know, you can do this IPTV and RF side by side playing right next to each other. All right. So now I'm going to show you on the IPTV set top box, how it looks. You actually have to go into the TV config and I'll put in the password here. And this is your setup essentially that we kind of created in the encoder itself. Uh, if you pull up the GUI, the IPTV selection process allows you to input all this information. Right now we're using UDP multicast and we're creating an individual stream for each channel. What does that mean? That means you can create as many channels as you essentially want to create and we can add them step by step using ports and IP addresses. And what that does is it allows the set top box to actually receive those channels and each time you press up or down on the channel, it's just a different channel. You can name them, you can edit them, you can set them up however you want. And as you can see, we have these kind of pre-configured for quite a few. Uh, this is actually just a text script we make. Uh, we add it to the player and then, you know, we can kind of distribute these set-top boxes along with the encoders and a nice little package to you guys if you don't really want to set them up yourself. Uh, so again, I'm going to show you in just a moment here what it looks like on the GUI, uh, but I just wanted to show you this is the essence of how you set up an IPTV set-top box uh, to use along with the player. So these are the streams that we made. And again, if I go back to the actual live TV portion here, it's gonna pull in all those streams. And again, we're back to just showing 
what those streams are making. So now you can go back down through the channels. Again, this is channel two. And again, you can use channel one in IPTV because you're, it's not RF. So you can start at one. You don't have to start at two, which is 57 megahertz in RF. You can actually start on channel one in IPTV because it doesn't really matter. Uh, and again, uh, so this is a cool little setup we have here. RF and IPTV coming from the same exact unit, from the same exact sources side by side. Uh, and again, we're using a camera. Uh, we're using Roku stick, Fire Stick, and a Blu-ray player. And again, using the same exact uh, system, we can show you guys now how to set this up on the uh, encoder GUI screen, which is again, the second RJ45 port uh, from the front of the unit. All right, so now we're gonna switch over and I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the GUI here. All right guys, so now we're gonna go into the admin of this unit. So you just type in your username and password. And the unit we were just using is now here shown. And there's a couple things I want to show you guys. Um, of course, here you can see that all of them are running, uh, about 17 megabits each. And you can see that we have green lights, which means that the HDMI is being accepted through the unit and then being distributed through IP and RF. Um, so there's a few things you can go through. You can go into these settings and check everything else. Again, everything is HDMI uh, and MPEG-2, uh, which we need to use for our televisions here in the United States. Um, and again, we can set up all the PIDs and stuff we want for RF. Uh, and again, this is very, very uh, simple stuff that's usually all preset, pre-configured. There's not a whole lot you need to do here uh, unless you guys are just doing some unconventional things, in which case I would suggest calling our tech support. Okay, so the thing I wanted to show you guys was the IP side of everything. So here, what we're showing you is that all the IPTV ports are enabled. As you can see, there's check marks all here. Um, you know, we're doing the null filter packet. And again, we're setting it up on different uh, .2, .4, .6 on all different ports, which the IPTV set-top box was picking up. And again, we were streaming in UDP and you know you could say your data rate output and again the service ip uh you know is completely different than the ip stream you're actually streaming on so make sure not to get those guys confused um and again uh this stuff you know is pretty simple to learn we can help you out with it we have a bunch of manuals out there that can help you guys uh learn all this or at least help set it up so you can replicate the process uh, elsewhere and again this is the rf output on the unit and again, we were starting on channel two, which is 57 megahertz, and it just goes, uh, each step is six megahertz. So two, three, four, five, uh, again, and all outputs enabled, J83B, Annex B, which is North American standard on 256 Qualm. So again, these are all things that we can set up and help you out with. I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what the GUI looks like using something like this. But as you can see that we were doing IPTV and uh, RF modulation through the same exact unit uh, side by side showing you guys uh, what it is capable of and kind of what it looks like in full HD. So again, you know, depending on what kind of circumstances you guys have, whether you're in a bar, a restaurant, stadium, uh, these units are particularly very popular for live sports uh, and professional leagues all around the country. You know, the NFL, NBA, NHL, they all buy these units from us. Uh, again, uh, tech support is excellent over here at Thor. If you guys have any issues with your current situation, current vendor, uh, current manufacturer, give us a call. We'll help you guys out. We'll walk you through the steps uh, and we'll make sure you guys are all set up. And again, these units are a little bit more advanced. Uh, they do offer virtual channels, which uh, I believe we have shown you in videos in the past. So again, there's also manuals set up on thorbroadcast.com. If you go to the unit, uh, you know, you can kind of uh, see those uh, manuals and, and pick them all apart and take a look for yourself. But again, if you have any questions, uh, if you're thinking about setting up a system, if you're talking about uh, doing different applications or projects, give us a shout. Uh, our sales reps will help you guys out. And again, uh, if you have any questions, 1-800-521-8467. Uh, check us out, www.thorbroadcast.com. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.